Now that may seem like a lot, and I could tell you a lot more, but you're only gonna use 90% of the buttons. <laughs> Hey guys, Chris here from Moto Photo Adventures and welcome back to the channel. We absolutely love all the support that everybody gives us, uh, whether you're buying a cup of coffee through our Buy Me A Coffee account or picking up a t-shirt through our Redbubble account. All those little things, giving us thumbs up, giving us likes, giving us comments, those things do wonders to help our channel. But every now and then somebody goes above and beyond and really makes our day. And I wanna say a huge thank you to Paul Moore who sent us this awesome new toy. <laughs> Don't you love Christmas time? <laughs> so Paul knows that we are huge fans of the Cena headsets that we use to bring you guys all of this footage. If you guys watched my trip to Mexico, you may remember Paul, who is one of my Bunker Biker hosts on my way down through Mexico. He's an awesome guy. We love him to death. Great follower of the channel. And he had this RC4 remote control and decided that he wanted us to have it. So he sent it to us and uh, we've been playing around with it. It's a really neat little device. Essentially, the RC4 from Cena allows a lot of the functionality of your headset, the turning on of the camera, the, the recording of a video, uh, the turning on of the intercom, all of those little features that you normally had to take your hand off the handlebar to operate can now be done from your handlebar. So let's check this thing out, it's pretty cool. Obviously I was way too excited about getting our new toy to leave it in the box, so it's already on my, my handlebars. You can see right here, it's very easy to operate, very easy to install, it simply uses a spring clip. So here's our mechanism for holding it onto your handlebars. Pretty simple, it has four buttons across the top and you can operate just about every feature on the Cena 10C Evo just using those four buttons. Pull the spring apart, clip it in place, handlebar here, super easy to operate even with your gloves on. Now the most important part once you have the RC4 unpacked is to pair it with your headset. It's super easy to do, you just follow the instructions in the manual. Once it's paired, you're done. You put it on your handlebars and you're ready to go. Then once it's paired, all you have to do every time you go for a ride is turn your Senna on. Hello, phone connected. And then any button that you press on the remote control automatically wakes up the remote control and connects it to your device. Connected. Once your headset is on and your remote control is paired and functioning properly, connected to your headset, here are the buttons that you can operate all the functions for your headset directly from the remote control. I'll run through them all real quick for you. The first one is called the multi-function button. Below that is the plus button. And in the center, a very clever name, the center button. And below that, the minus button. So for basic operations, it's super easy to understand the plus and minus is gonna control your volume. No matter what mode you're in, whether you're listening to music on your iPod, whether you're listening to the FM radio, whether you're talking on the phone, you can adjust your volume simply by pressing the plus or the minus button. If you do receive a phone call, the easy way to answer a phone call is by pressing the center button. For outgoing phone calls, you can press the center button for three seconds and then use voice dial from your phone. And if you have pre-programmed any speed dials into your phone, you press the plus button for three seconds. When it comes to operating your intercom, press the center button for five seconds. That allows you to pair with fellow riders. And then to start an intercom, you just press the center button one tap. To end all intercom communications, press the center button and hold it for one second. Switching over to music, obviously if your headset is paired to your Bluetooth connected phone, you can control your music. To play or pause the music from your phone, just press the center button one tap. One starts the playing, one stop stops the playing. If you want to skip forward to the next track, you can press and hold the plus minus for one second, skip back to the previous track, press and hold the minus button for one second. And as we discussed already, if you just tap the plus or minus button, that jacks your volume up or down. 
Now the Cena 10C Pro, the 10C Evo, which we have, and the soon to be released 50C all have a built-in FM radio. To turn the FM radio on, all you do is press the minus button for one second. Once you've got it on, you can press the plus button for one second to scan through the channels. To seek through stations, you can double tap the plus button or the minus button to seek up or down. Now the pièce de résistance is our favorite and that is of course operating the camera. To turn the camera on, simply press the multifunction button once. To turn the camera off, press the multifunction and the minus button at the same time. Once the camera is on, press and hold the multifunction button for one second. And if you just want to snap a quick picture, simply tap the multifunction button. Now there's a whole bunch of other stuff I could tell you about, but you're just going to use 90% of the buttons 10% of the time. 10% of the buttons 9% <laughs> <laughs> Now that may seem like a lot, and I could tell you a lot more, but you're only going to use 10% of the buttons 90% of the time. Just memorize the features that you need and which ones you can access quickly. The cool part is, once you get back from your ride, you don't have to turn this off. It's got its own little watch battery that maintains your settings. All you have to do Goodbye. is turn your Cena off, put it back on the shelf, and you're ready to go next time. So there you have it guys, the RC4 from Cena. We kind of like it. It's a little bit of a safety feature for me anyway, being able to access everything without taking my hands off the handlebars. What do you guys think? Leave us a comment. Do you use one? I'd be interested to find out who else uses an RC4 with their headset. And uh, we appreciate you watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.